Alrighty everyone, welcome back to the channel. Another fun video here. We're going to the Goodwill bins in Reading. I have never been to these Goodwill bins. Everyone always talks to me going to the bins, I'm going to the bins, all these fun things, lots of YouTube videos also on going to the Goodwill bins. And the only one I usually go to are the ones down in Montgomeryville, Pennsylvania. Uh, and they really aren't that great. So uh, around here, everyone I think seems to go to the Reading ones. We'll go to the Reading ones and see if this is going to be worthwhile. Uh, it should be fun. Hopefully we find some uh, some cool things. I'm just putting out my Christmas decor. Uh, you guys might remember I grabbed this guy not too long ago. I actually haven't even taken off the price tag, so I should probably do that. Salvation Army $5 price tag, but he is perfect size in comparison to this guy. They're both the smaller figurines. I don't know if they're called 36-inch models or what, but... They look very, very cool there. I'm very, very happy with this. I'm very happy I kept this and didn't sell this or give it away. Uh, this guy, he's uh, he's guarding the fort. So, uh, yeah, we're going out there. Let's uh, let's make it a fun one. Let's try to find some good things at the Goodwill bins, and let's uh, let's see what happens. Let's do it. So here we are at the, the place, finally. It looks like uh, their housewares is pretty much just housewares. I can't find a shopping cart. But we'll gander around here shortly. There are these figurines. Los Rejas Magos. Germany and Mexico. I don't know. So it is an outlet store. So we'll see how well this goes. I'm not really seeing too much. So Williamsburg mug. I know they have all the bins in the other room. So it's a little bit different. It's definitely bigger than the other one that I was at. That is for sure. These lawyer bookcases. It's 12 bucks, but it's a newer one. And this is really nice. If you're looking for a, a cupboard, sort of a mid-century vibe to it. know what the prices are oh there they are uh anything over anything under 20 pounds is a dollar 64 per pound i don't know how often they bring in new stuff either Take through some of this guy's missing a nose. See you later. No snout on that guy. Rack. So I think it is a little bit more pricier than the other one. Got a cast iron skillet. Taiwan. That'd be kind of weird to find here. A cast iron skillet. Gucci bag. I don't think that's real. Gucci. Found Gucci at the thrift. I uh, don't think it's real. But that's one thing with these stores is like, if they don't sell at Goodwill, they don't lower their price, they just bring it here. So it could be. I don't think so though. What is this? Walsh University, I haven't heard of that one found this sweatshirt here which is just a blank sweatshirt you guys know I've been trying to buy this is Carolina blue I don't think I have that color yet so I'm going to grab this if there's one thing I don't grab today it's something for myself that is for sure I gotta get something here what's this jacket down here nothing small one so I'll grab this for sure that'll be my first purchase of today just a Carolina blue sweatshirt blank We'll use this for personal reasons, future videos. All right. Actually, pretty neat. It's actually, I think, a painting. Or it's that, it's a textured print. It is textured. It's small, so it's not gonna wet. What's that? What an important book. What's that? What an important book. Oh, I yeah, I know. Look at that. Yeah. 
but it is heavy, you know what I mean? That's yeah, it's got to cost a lot. Yeah. yeah. But it's good. It's yeah. Yeah. All righty. Well, I'm going to grab this. I think this is really cool. It's a smaller tech. This thing ain't going to weigh that much. This thing can't be more than a dollar. Yeah, so it's half a pound. It's probably about 80 cents. I think it's worth it for 80 cents. What's that Gucci bag I saw earlier? All right, didn't see this kind of a cedar box. Oh, it's chipped in the back. That's not gonna work. That's not. Oh, it's broken too. It's missing a leg. The leg's broken off. That's a shame. Let's see that guy there. Good old cedar box. Very very cool. I like how they have uh, their stuff kind of separated a little bit more than uh, most Goodwill stores, uh, Goodwill outlet stores that is. Most of them are just thrown into bins. I was able to grab this hat. Uh, nice thing about it, it's brand new. Look at that. Older snapback. It's made by, I think, Anco. Yep, there you go. University of Notre Dame. The only issue is it's like all really sun faded. But I think that would just come off with a little bit of water and some tape. I don't know if that's really sun faded. I think it's just dusty. Yeah, yeah, I think it's just dusty, a little moisture and some tape. Very, very cool. All right, so here's my massive haul at the Goodwill Bins. This place, well, now there's a parking spot there. I had to park all the way over here by those trailers up there. This place was slammed, and I was talking to a couple other people, and they said competition's pretty fierce there. Um, a lot of people just stand around, wait for bins. But also people, uh, they get there at about 8 in the morning. And then they do one or two rotations so yeah I don't know if I'll be back because this is my whopping haul and there wasn't really too much there but I guess it really depends on the bins in terms of what they put out all right so my GoPro actually died yesterday which this video was kind of recorded in so I'm just kind of do a recap but uh this is probably my favorite find it's uh, I think it definitely is a print I don't it is textured. You might be able to see it's kind of textured. You can kind of see it in the water in the bottom right. Um, I just realized it's also chipped. But it's still really, really nice. The lady there. This is like one of those things that I don't know why. I always see these at auction. Now, this is oil. The auction by me sells these from time to time. And they get about $20 to $25 each. They go with the tray lots. Um, and the only reason why I think it's oil and is because it's textured um, but it's just not really maybe it's mass produced I don't know I can't figure it out um, but I did grab some other things as well as you guys saw uh, the problem with that Goodwill outlet store got this nice Notre Dame hat and the Goodwill bins and all those stores got a sweatshirt and it's kind of a running joke now with this old bay uh, just an inside joke that I kind of had. There's nothing really to it. I just thought it was cool. It's nice distressed. It's from 2014. It's not old, but it's like has that vintage look to it. You guys might remember I had a, I think it was like a bazooka bubblegum t-shirt that I always wore for the flea market videos. And, and uh, Orange Slices was always busting my chops about it. And it, it's like the same kind of fake textured vintage look. So I kind of like that. I'm going to try to wash it. I'm going to wash all my clothes that I ever get from thrift stores. But uh, I'm going to try to wash it and shrink it a little because it's a size large. It's a little big. But that was fun. The problem with that Goodwill bins and the Goodwill outlet stores is that the uh, the music they play is so loud. So if the editing was kind of poor or the audio was weird, it's because I was trying to avoid any issues with the video, uh, with the music, because they just blast it so loud. It's like you can't even hear the person talking next to you, let alone if you're trying to hide it from like documenting it on YouTube. It, it just becomes a disaster. But uh, my mail pile is adding up. I know I got this just the other day. That is from, that's from Cynthia. Uh, and this is an awesome, <laughs> she always decorates it up. I know last year she definitely sent me a great, great care package towards the end of the year. And I just thought that was really cool right there. I know she included a a cool card last year that I still have. It was kind of like an animated cutout of me and Salsa, which was awesome. Uh, Todd also just picked this up from the mailbox. Todd sent me some soap. It's a package from Darlene. There's a package from Patagonia. So I don't know who sent me anything from Patagonia, but we'll probably find out in about a week or two when I do my mail day. If you guys are interested in sending anything, 
PO Box information is in the description below. I will be doing one more mail day for the rest of the year. Uh, and then probably do something maybe early to mid-January as well. So if you guys are interested in sending anything, about a week from now, I'll do a mail day video. But I'm going to kind of clean up around here. This place is kind of turning into a mess. And yeah, thanks for coming along. Sorry, it's a little bit of a short video. It's kind of hard to film in there. But yeah, it's always fun. It's always a blast. Let's uh, enjoy the rest of the week and catch up with you guys next time for the next adventure. As always, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.